been very excited to share the news with you that I finally got my PMP certification done. Thanks to eduhubspot.com and Varun's mentorship. The material provided by eduhubspot is fantastic and the mentoring is phenomenal. I could not accomplish this feat without the outstanding mentorship of Varun. I would like to thank eduhubspot for all the support that was given to me in this journey. If you're looking to be certified just like me, EDU HubSpot is your go-to place. Thank you, EDU HubSpot, for helping me become a PMI certified professional. I want to give credit to my success to the EDU HubSpot team. Hi, Smila. Congratulations for passing the PMP exam. I'm so happy and proud of you. There is a reason, of course, you know, you are the eighth person in your country, Gambia, to get this certification. So how are you feeling right now? Um, hi, Gautam. Uh, I think I feel on top of the wall at the moment. I, you know, especially like you said, um, PMP is a, is a certification that I would say not many people in my country have it. You know, I think uh, I am the eighth person in the country to have it. So it's one of the biggest achievements in my life thanks for saying this and also i'm so privileged uh, teaching you ismaila because you know uh, you are the eighth person in your country who get the certification i am 200 percentage sure that you will motivate a lot of people in your country so i'm very proud that i have taught um, you yeah yeah um, i'm also very happy that i i made the right choice to work with edu hotspot to to have this certification Thank you. It's um, my pleasure. Yeah. Uh, without EDU hotspot, I'm not sure I would have been certified today. Thank you. Thank you, Ismaila. And uh, Ismaila, thank you so much for doing this interview. Let me tell you the reason why I'm conducting this interview, especially with you. Since you are the eighth person in your country who passed this certification, so definitely when I conduct an interview with you, it will motivate your fellow country people. So that is the main reason I'm conducting this interview. So uh, let's get started. Yeah, please share your professional background. What you do? Um, thank you very much, Gautam. Um, I currently work with the government of the Gambia mm -hmm. under the office of the public service, and then we have a unit that is called the the Department of Strategic Policy and Delivery. So I work on the delivery unit, and our main function at the moment is to monitor government um, projects and then to act as an oversight um, unit to help other government sectors and ministries in um, managing and monitoring their uh, projects. Mm, thanks for sharing this. You know, considering your roles and responsibilities, my next question is, what made you choose PMP as your next upskilling goal? Why PMP? Um, yes, um, like I said earlier, um, our main function is to monitor and help governments in terms of, um, you know, managing, monitoring their projects. So um, studying, um, having the PMP, which is, you know, the golden certification in the area of project management, you know, qual qualifies you to be there. And then also, you know, I just didn't come for the PMP certification just to have the certification, but also the knowledge attached to it. Because working with um, EDU Hotspot, you only don't have the certification, but they also train you in order to, you know, understand the basics of project management. So I believe you cannot, um, you know, work efficiently or manage projects or, you know, help other sectors in terms of their monitoring and project implementation when you yourself you don't know project itself so this is one of the main reason i went in for the edu uh, for the certification thank you so much for sharing this and also uh, i know you very well you are my student and uh, i can give you in writing while you are preparing for pmp trust me ismaila you have acquired a lot of knowledge that knowledge itself will definitely motivate your uh, fellow citizens for doing this PMP certification. Ismaila, you clearly mentioned that uh, the intention of you for doing this certification is to acquire knowledge. Now, how are you planning to use PMP in your professional life moving forward? Um, yes, um, I think um, when I um, came back with my certification, um, the first thing I did is to talk with the, you know, the government sector that is responsible for training and then you know i'm trying to see how 
best? Is it going to be feasible to ensure that anyone working with government um, managing a project at least have um, a C C CAPM, that is the you know associate project management certified or the P the PMP. At least with this, you know, you only do not go for the certification. That is number one. You will have the certification, and then you can um, compete at international level. And then number two, you know, the knowledge you acquired during having this certification will really you know um, equip you to be able to manage um, projects properly. So as as a certified project uh, management professional, you know, I think, you know, I'm very much equipped now in order to help, to take the lead, you know, um, working in government, to take the lead, to help other government, uh, you know, sectors in terms of their implementation, management, and everything that is related to projects. That's, I'm super happy to hear this. You have already started applying these concepts in your professional life. You know, that's how we can contribute to the profession. Uh, please share your PMP journey, Smaila. So from start to end. Um, yes, uh, PMP. You know, like I said, it was not very popular. Um, it is not very popular in Gambia. You know, not many people, I think, knew about it. And those who are privileged to know about it, maybe some of them are either scared or didn't have the opportunity to do the exams. Um, once I was talking with a friend, and then you know. He works with the with the training institute, and then he was training institute in Gambia here. He was the first person to tell me about the PMP and then how important it was. So it was then um, from there. Then I started googling myself about the PMP certification and then you know the associate people. So whilst googling, I've found so many training um, you know partners on online, but into almost all of them, I you know, I finally settled down with the EDU hotspot, which I, which I didn't regret, regret in any way. Thank you so much for sharing this. I have a next following question. You yourself said that in Gambia, PMP is not that much famous uh, uh, because of people are thinking this certification is very difficult. So do you have any plans for motivating people from your country to do this PMP? Obviously, I think um, that is why, you know, in the previous question, I told you I've started um, communicating with, you know, the relevant um, um, sectors responsible for training to ensure, you know, that if there is any possibility to make sure anyone that is going to work at that level would have um, an associate at least minimum, which is the minimum requirement for a PMP itself. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, um, during my journey as a certified PMP, I only didn't have the certification, which is going to, which will really open um, opportunities for me to compete both locally and then internationally. But, you know, I feel that I've acquired so much, you know, information, so much knowledge on project management. And I can tell you, I am very, very much prepared. And then it is going to be very different because I worked as a focal person, you know, in, in a project prior to me going for the PMP exam. So uh, I can tell you, you know, today if I am to work at the same point, it's going to be very different the way I will manage the project because of the information and the knowledge I've gathered so far. That's nice. Thanks for sharing this. And one promise I'm giving you is my love. So uh, I am part of this journey. So at any point in time when you feel like if I want to create any awareness session about uh, PMP, don't hesitate to contact me. So definitely I'll be coming and to your fellow citizens, I can create an awareness session about PMP. Yeah. Thank you so much. You have already started that. Good. Yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll be, we'll be much grateful. It's my pleasure. It's my pleasure. Uh, can you share your experience with the actual PMP exam? How was the exam? Um, yes. Um, my actual PMP exam was very much different because prior to the exam, like many people were telling me it's how difficult the exam is. And, you know, but I realized that, you know, the mock exams that I've done with EDU Hotspot are way more difficult than the actual PMP exam itself. You know, this was one advantage that I had because I spent, you know, I struggled a lot with the mock exams, but for the actual PMP exams, it was like not that much difficult. That is one thing. And then the other thing I realized was most of my questions were agile. 
agile questions. You know, I can I can see more than seventy percent, not even seventy, more than seventy percent of my questions were agile. Okay, yeah. that's interesting. Yeah, yeah, and and the other thing is I don't know whether this have to do with my application during the time I was applying for my exams. But I have so many questions that have to um, that have relations with um, you know regulations like government regulations and other things related to that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you, thank you so much, Ismail, for sharing this. Question: Your uh, experience with ED HubSpot? Yes, um, yes uh, I'm very happy because I'm very much so. If not. If it was not because of EDU hotspot, I wouldn't be here doing this interview with you today. <laughs> you know, I, yeah, I owe my success to EDU hotspot. You know, it was a very good experience, and then I would I wouldn't hesitate to recommend anyone that wants to be um, certified in a very short um, duration to EDU hotspot. Thank you so, so I'm much. Very much grateful. Thank you so much. Even uh, we are looking forward to teach more people from your country. <laughs> uh, 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 obviously, that will happen, you know, um, sure, because um, the Gambia is a developing country and then we have so many projects that comes from development partners mm. that are trying to that are trying to help, you know, our country develop. So, you know, in order for you to, you know, to compete, to manage some of these projects, you have to certainly have to get the you have to get the knowledge and then the certification Understood. so for us it is just the beginning but i'm sure many people will follow suit immediately thank you so much ismaila and uh, yeah we came to the end of the interview thank you so much for taking your time and sharing your experience congratulations again i know you you are a much motivated person you will not stop here you will keep on acquiring knowledge all the very best for that also let's stay in touch thank, thank you. you so much <laughs>